Hi, I'm Celina Botino, Director of the Institute of Technology Society of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and I'm here to talk about the Brussels Effect. So, the Brussels Effect refers to European Union's ability to set globally regulatory standards through its large market size and regulations. But there is also a geopolitical component to this issue, especially when we focus on AI regulation, since we have the US in one side and China on the other, both competing for the leadership on AI development, and we have Europe in the middle trying to become a reference in regulation. That's what we call uh, the Brussels effect. And I'll talk about the impact of this effect on the Brazilian legal context. One concrete example of the influence of European legislation in Brazil was the GDPR, the data protection legislation. This uh, data, the GDPR served as an example and inspiration for the Brazilian data protection legislation, which is very much the same of the GDPR in terms of structures, principles, and values. Now, talking about the AI regulation, and uh, the UAI Act was just approved and will be in effect soon, and Brazil is also mimicking European steps. The UAI Act follows a risk-based approach sets a series of compliance measures, and the Brazilian Bill of AI also follows the same structure, but it went a bit further, uh, including more obligations and also a chapter based on rights protection. But there are some important elements that should be considered when countries from Brazil, countries like Brazil from the Global South, uses regulatory framework from Global North as the example without considering our own reality. So, first of all, it's important to note that the EU AI Act is just one of the, main, of the many regulatory frameworks that exist within the European framework, such as the Europe Interoperability Act, the DSA, the DMA, and the Data Governance Act. So if Brazil just looks at the AI Act and tries to implement it without considering the other regulatory frameworks, it will probably not have the same impact as the European norm. And second, the countries uh, need to understand the main objective of a certain regulation. The AI Act, for example, is worded in keeping the EU AI, the EU internal market safe when using AI. And therefore, it does not include provisions, for example, to, so to foster innovation. And Brazil has a completely different reality coming uh, from the global south. Uh, we have a lot of issues regarding accessibility to AI development, connectivity, access to data. So therefore, instead of copying European uh, standards, countries should be critical in defining first of all what direction they would like to pursue and develop a legislation accordingly. Actually, one of the authors of the AI Act has been uh, vocal in saying that uh, countries should not copy the uh, AI Act everywhere, and each country should consider what makes sense to each reality. And this is not to say that the Brussels effect is good or bad, but maybe uh, it just makes us reflect that it could be just uh, seen as, as one example among others, and each country should be mindful of its own reality before importing foreign regulation. Thank you.